Hey everybody, this is Ardoom, and thanks very much for stopping by in this exciting episode of Darkest Dungeon. We'll be going to the codes. Uh, just a bit of a, a nice, easy-going champion-level medium crawl for a Book of Sanity. I find these things really handy as complements to head-based trinkets. But most importantly, we're going to need to get getting ourselves some gold, getting ourselves some crests, and getting ourselves closer and closer to maxing out our Hamlet upgrades. For this mission, we'll be bringing along a Hellion, a Flagellant, a uh, Jester, and a Vestal, all of which uh, need to be XP'd up all the way to level 6 for achievements, glory, and, um, you know, God. Surely for God. To provision up, no one's currently carrying the curse. So given that we're going to the coves, we'll bring a good stack of medicinal herbs along. Probably only the one key, uh, three shovels, and then no holy water. We'll bring across a stack of torches and four stack of food and four. That should be all we really need. Could bring more keys, could not. It's really up to us. Certainly having more medicinal herbs can be very, very handy. But again, I think I'm going to be happy with that mix just because we need to do a bit of an eco round. You know what? Bring an extra shovel just in case. Just in case. And let's get into the dungeon. I've been having so much fun playing this game. Um, if you guys have been watching the series up till now, you'll see that there have been some kind of silly and stupid decisions that I've made over the last few episodes, and um, that's because sometimes it's fun to, to play this game on hard mode and make some silly choices and see how they plan out. But in the meantime, dungeon's ready for us to dive into, so let's get straight in and see what we have. These caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. They must be flushed out. Okay, so unfortunately we are going to have to waste a bit of time on a few dead ends, but from there we should be okay in terms of rooting. So we'll go up here, back, up and then around around uh, because we do have to complete 100% of room battles. Now with that said, oh, trap. It's a trap. Your step. 12 rounds, damn. That's nasty. All right, you've clearly picked up an annoying quirk. What is that, is that Plutomania? Fortune, waiting to be spent. Hylomania, okay, that's gonna be annoying. Hopefully we can cure that on you sometime soon. Let's use one of those free torches and carry on through into the next room, see what we have to deal with. And it's two raiders and a hunter, but we have the element of surprise on our side, which means that we can do some strong early damage. That said, though, I am probably going to get focused on either a party buff or a slice off. Actually, a slice off is a pretty good call on that position three. Nice damage. Nine and then five bleeds coming in the next turn, which is insane. Let's keep that going as well. And this guy should be dead in his next turn. Uh, yeah, 11 bleeds, that's definitely enough to be dead. Uh, let's start wailing down on this raider. 10 damage made and done, it's fine by me, and we can try a stun. Their chance to resist is pretty massive, so instead we might just drop a judgment. Unfortunately, it's dodged, but that is just fine. I've got slice on the flagellant, who dodges as well. Two can dodge at that game, and the raider will come through with a shank. Oh, 10 damage and probably a bleed. Nope, just a mark. That's fine by me. We need to make sure that we're taking care of these guys um, promptly and with, uh, you know, great alacrity. Four damage with slice off as well as five bleed coming through. And let's finish this guy off who has the, uh, the higher speed of the bunch. He's already dead in his turn. Shank goes down. 13 damage. Dear God. Oh, you're being so unkind. All right. He's, he's dodgy. He is very, very dodgy. We'll need to do probably a self-heal on the Vestal, up by 10, just compensating for some of that damage we've taken. A lot more coming through in the bleeds in the coming turns. Uh, no stress for us to really have to worry about. We can't really do much other than, well, we can party buff. Party buffs are fine. Upping our speeds, we get the first hit in is just a tickety-boo in my books. Let's drop a punish. Done and done, four damage plus an extra. Whoa, no bleed. Man, this guy is really tough. Slice of dice. Oh, so much damage. So much damage. All right, let's do a focused heal on that Hellion who's looking the weakest of the lot. And uh, let's try and smack this guy. All right, 10 damage at least has been made. That will that will have to do to keep party buffing, to try and max out our chance to create some party heals will be the next course of action for us in the Vestal. That said, we will try and get a bleed in this guy, hopefully. Damn it. He's just too tough for us. All right, party heal. Nice critical there on the guy with the high stress, which is fine by me, and everyone's going to be a little bit healthier for it. Shank goes down. 15 damage. My god, these cogs. Of course, we're in champion now. We have to take this really seriously. You know what? I probably made the wrong call there. I should have faffed. I should have faffed around and gotten rid of that bleed. But uh, you make your plays, and you take your consequences. 
meantime we have a fishy here that we can try and cure and we've gotten uh, a little bit of stuff there not too shabby in fact we'll probably eat some of that food straight away just to make our hellion slightly more survivable another trap that has been unseen which does damage and a really long lasting buff not the rule and that is nasty right thanatophobia that's not too hellish resolution stress eater and enlightened will only meditate for stress relief that's going to be a conflict because we can't de-stress with him until we cure that i'm sorry that was the um that was the oh flawed release and claustrophobia that's fine and nervous hylomania and gambler yeah i'm going to be trying that on with the vestal that's for sure what do we get nervous great so that's less stress i'm fine with that I'm so fine with that. All right, let's check what's behind this door here and get our heals in early, I think. Uh, it's an empty. Right, another unexplored corridor there because scouting has not come through at any rate. Hunger check. That's pretty early and pretty concerning, to be honest. But let's see how we go. There we go. Take care of that chest. Well, beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Thanks, narrator. Oh, another trap. No scouting is crippling. And look at all these debuffs. These are really not, these are real problems to be honest. Uh, behind this room we have all of nothing. So let's double back and carry on through. The only battle we've had so far has been pretty much a corridor battle and it was nasty as hell. So I am slightly concerned for my survival. Uh, again, there's a big step up in difficulty when you go from veteran to champion, just like there's a big step up in difficulty from apprentice to veteran. But I think that step is a slightly bigger one. It's a slightly bigger step when you're going up to champion from veteran, that is for sure. Another hunger check? Wow, we should have brought more food. Oh well, let's keep on going. Hopefully we can find some fish to disinfect. Um, and uh, let us press onwards. Okie dokie. Torching up and... Okay, some bloodsuckers. That chevalier is going to be our biggest concern, that is for sure. And I think to open things up we should be getting a party buff going. Again, just the accuracy and crit. Fortunately, all of our debuffs have expired. Now, we can't... We can't guarantee a kill on that Chevalier in one round. We can at least take out a Supplicant. Let's do that. Again, denying them action is the most important thing I can really do. All right, five damage, and it's not going to be enough. It's not even going to be enough to take out one of them, which is deeply concerning. Can't drop a stun on any of these guys. Can do a focused heal on the Hellion, and yeah, it's, that's not going to be a bad call. Up by 11. Okay. Happy with that. Happy with that. This um, supplicant is dead in the next turn. That's going to stop him from probably cursing some of us. A damage taken, but no ill effects. Predigestion goes down to the Jester. And it's a dodge. Thank you, RNGs. Predigestion this time on the Flagellant. Nine damage taken, and. No other consequences. Subterranean Skewer on the Hellion is dodged, thank goodness. And again, this chap is already dead, so we can disregard his existence. Let's try and get some bleeds going on this position. Two Supplicant, eight damage taken, uh, but no bleeds, sadly. All right, let's start getting nervous about this stuff and actually trying diligently to apply bleeds. Nope, that's not going to work. All right. Yeah, no, that's um, really, really regrettable, to be honest. Uh, not going to focus on healing up. Well, uh, uh, b -b 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 judgment. Got to deny them an action. Got to deny them actions. That's the key thing. Even if the heals don't spread where I need them to, I've got to deny them actions. And the flagellant can take a few hits, and then oh, he's cursed. Well, I've got one blood. That's fine. Oh well, curse is back clearly. But I do have like a hundred blood back in the hamlet, so we should be fine. One stun goes down. Uh, that Hellion is looking slightly concerning, um, but. Oh, chance the bleed is really low. Let's do it anyway. Five damage taken. And five bleed as well, which isn't too shabby. Let's try that again. Six damage and six bleed, so 11 damage coming off him in the next turn. Let's focus a heal on the Hellion, who looks like she really needs it, to be honest. Oh, stun clears. And we're back in the action. Subterranean secure the Jester. 16 damage taken. God damn. And a bleed to boot. All right, should definitely be bringing more bandages along. Great dodge though by the Flagellant. Would have actually happily would have happily taken the damage on the Flagellant rather than on the Jester to be honest. Alright, let's get some more bleeds going on the Chevalier if we can. Yes, 16 damage and he's already dead which is fine by me. Let's try this out in the Supplicant instead. 6 damage but the bleed has taken just by the debuff not coming through. Um, we can go for the kill. 
Uh, which isn't a bad call. We can try and faff. Let's let's try and support the kill. Yeah, it's not going to be enough regardless. Focus a heal on that Jester up by 11. So we're recovering from that damage. We've got a long way to go. At least that Chevalier is dead and this Supplicant is gone this next turn. Gather the Blood goes down, four damage taken and no other ill effects. And I think it's a party heal for us in the next turn. What we will do though is try and do a bit of a Stress Shuffle just to maximize our faffing opportunities. Again, he's already dead. We don't need to do anything beyond just getting everyone to a better place. Um, again, party heal does some decent stuff there. Only three more damage to come from that bleed. And let's take care of some stress on that flagellant. Done, 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 and done ski. All right, uh, let's just buff up that Hellion as much as it's gonna be pretty minor and this guy's gone. Okay. Go away, G-Force drivers. Don't know why you're coming up. Okay. And, uh, yeah, use that bandage instantly. Um, we might want to pick an early camp, but I'm not sure if that's going to be the best of all available decisions, given the food situation. Uh, pick up that sack. Nice stack of gold. treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. All right, scouting comes through at least, and we have a corridor battle, which might be our opportunity to do some easy heals, depending on what we have in this corridor. Awesome, just two stingers and a tide master, and we get surprise. Fantastic. So, um, I think we're going to be able to get back the initiative here. Uh, let's try for a kill on one of these stingers. Uh, unfortunately, they're too slippery for me. All right, let's um, let's get some bleeds going on that tide master. Then, if we can, six damage and no bleed. Uh, punish seven damage and bleed as well as that debuff. His resistance is now handily reduced gonna probably do a focused heal or a party heal. Party heal will still potentially get me more of, an, of, a, of a yield. Oh, but it's a beautiful critical regardless of the Jester and I'm happy with that. Okie dokie, stress wave goes down on the Flagellant, three damage taken and 18 stress. That's fine, that's why we keep our torch levels nice and high. Shocker goes down on that, on that Jester and he picks up a Scurvy and a stun. Ugh. Shocker on the Flagellant as well. He's probably gonna be taken out as well. Nope! He resists. That's just fine by me. And that Tide Master is dead. Did I get enough bleed damage on him? Oh, I literally don't know. All right, let's start working down this second position stinger. Um, Jester's stun is cleared and shocker on the Hellion. Man, these guys are being cruelly effective with those, but fortunately we're resisting some of them. Can't last forever though. Nah, see, as I, as, I, as I thought. As I thought. All right, let's um, do a Judgment. To... Oh, but it's a miss. It's a miss. It's a miss. And it's round reset now. Um, let's try to, again, drop some bleed on the stinger. This time it does take, and he's dead in his next action, which is fine by me. Salty gouge, because my... Oh, yeah, my Hellion is very bleed susceptible now. Salty gouge. Oh, and that bleed comes down as well, but at least my Hellion can take care of these kinds of problems. Let's get some pain going on that stinger bleed does take nicely. Um, I will probably cure that damage though if I can to the Hellion. Yep, 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 yep. Don't mind curing bleeds at all. Um, uh, let's party heal. Oh, six is all round. Not too shabby there at all. And um, yeah, don't have much we can do with the Jester beyond curing some stress, which is his function, really. That is his function. Um, and let's go in for another strike on that Stinger. That should be enough to kill him in his next action, which means depending on when these guys play out, I might get a free fat turn in. No, no, that's fine. That is just fine. Remind right. yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Gonna take the gold in favor of the citrine for pretty clear and obvious reasons. It's worth more immediately to me, and it will be worth more to me in the near future as well. Um, no scouting here, which is a bit of a problem, but that isn't going to stop us. Free torch, just in the nick of time as well. Let's use that immediately. Oh, so much bleed. And another hunger check. Wow. We we have real hunger problems. We have real hunger problems. All right. Um, probably not going to be able to camp in this mission, which is of concern. But again, nothing else to do but carry on. Oh, not going to get there in time. Damn it. Okay, but you still got a positive check. This stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. 
do need deeds. The question is, do I need deeds more than I need gold? And the answer is, given the chance for onyxes to stack, uh, yes, yes, I can. I can afford to sacrifice that. Uh, let's use a shovel this time. Not expecting more than two obstacles, and I'm so glad I picked up that emerald. Oh, trap! But we dodged. 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 That's fun because they're the debuff on those traps is just insane. Uh, let's torch up and check what's behind door number 38. Okay, two piranhas, a witch, and a champion. The real question is who I should be focusing down on. There's no chance for an insta-kill on that piranha. There is a good chance of a supported kill. Sorry, on the back row piranha. There's a good chance of a supported kill on the second position piranha. Or getting bleeds going wouldn't be a bad thing on that witch. Let's give that a start. Only 7 damage, but 4 bleeds have come through nicely. Let's punish her again. It's rocking not quite enough damage to seal the deal. Let's try for a chain. Yeah, okay, that's that's beneficial. So she's dead in her first action, and he will take some damage. Chance to stun is going to be pretty lowish on these guys. So let's just drop a focused heal on the Jester. Up by 12, that should top him off. Nicely done. We're all looking in much better states states than we were before, to be honest. Spear fishing goes down. Eight damage taken, and uh, a bit of a move there, but that isn't going to prevent us from doing what we need to do. Rent the old gods, four damage taken on the flagellant, and a bleed to boot. But that's just fine by me. Seawood slash on the hellion. Great dodge. Great, great, great dodge. All right, let's consider our options carefully now. Party buff wouldn't be uh, off mark at all. We could also look at stress healing, but let's let's party buff. Given that we're out of position to do some better damage, and party buffs are actually fantastic. Like I, I'm never going to dis party buffs. Party buffs are amazing. All right, that should be enough to get this guy dead. I hope no, but he resists the bleed. That's regrettable. All right, six damage on the hellion and no ill effects beyond the damage itself. Uh, yeah. Okay. Seward slash. Great dodge. And unfortunately, I need to waste a turn on killing this piranha. 12 damage on the Vestal, though. Would have loved the move just to get her back into position, but that's fine. Let's let's take out this piranha. Again, just denying them an action if we can in the next round. Let's drop a Judgment for a bit of self-healing. We'll get that damage going on the champion. 6 damage taken, 7 health up. It's a slow crawl back to the top, but I'll start with damage in exchange if I can. Uh, those bleeds going as well, 7 damage taken, uh, and no other consequences, sadly, for them. Uh, let's amp our speed, crit, and accuracy, though, with our remaining players, and it's going to be a focused self-heal, yep, on that Vestal, just topping her up to 11. <laughs> great dodge, great dodge, great dodge, great dodge there. Let's keep things going, though, and focus down on that champion. Only 10 damage, and we're nowhere near a kill on him, which is really frustrating. Okay, dodge on the flagellant. I don't really mind him taking hits, because I kind of want him going to half-life. That said, though, hopefully if the bleed takes, it does. This champion is finally dead and buried. Let's um, keep party buffing, or let's deal with some stress pro proactively. Let's keep party buffing for this turn, because I feel that wide mouth is going to take its sweet time dying. Um... Drop a bleed attack on there. 11 damage isn't too bad, even though the bleed doesn't take. Let's, let's, let's drop a judgment back there as well. Yep, 7 damage and the Vestal is topped off nicely. Jolly good. Jolly, jolly good. Oh, 18 damage. Insane. Alright, uh, and given where we are right now, let's just take care of some stress with the Jester. Hopefully the Vestal will get in there first. She will not. Okay, let's consider our options. That's that's enough for a kill and then begin his first action. Given that, we'll self-heal with the Hellion, and if we get a turn of the Vestal, yes, we do. All right, let's heal that poor Hellion up. Done. All right, so our, um, our Flagellant is mighty, mighty close to pulling out some of his A moves. That bleed charm is actually looking really attractive given the um the difficulties we've had with sticking bleeds on people, but it's not the right call for the moment. It's not the right call for the moment, that's for sure. Let's do some quick inventory shuffling and yep, yeah, I'm satisfied 
with that time for us to double back and oh we have a coronal battle that could solve all of our health problems there we go we're still in radiant we have a thrall to worry about a piranha and a stinger to boot let's get some early damage done on that thrall seven damage taken plus a bleed i hope nope nope he might actually explode on me oh this isn't working out well and i forgot to move my jester which um is bad chances on this guy is really non-existent secret slash will go down 18 damage taken on the hellion which is regrettable and a shocker to boot but it's dodged it's dodged all right let's focus the heal up on that hellion once again i hope this yeah just a grab for the first round that's fine by me another 11 damage taken so again sticking down to that half-life point which is a real problem let's keep party buffing because that jester is out of position but remember to fix that as soon as i can and then let's keep the pain train rolling on this thrall it's going to be like the mission of yeah okay let's yeah heal up the hellion salty gouge great dodge and hopefully i get a hit in before that thrall does otherwise i might have to deal with some explosions yes come on come on sweet all right that is making me feel a bit more confident because while i do have a pretty good ability to party heal um i'd rather not have to if i don't have to now given priorities and given hit points i should probably be focusing on the stinger yep eight damage no bleed but your bleed resist has been reduced let's just wail on you the old-fashioned way it's a beautiful critical for 29 beautiful critical there no one's really rocking enough stress for us to do anything but keep on party buffing nice and let's keep on focusing our heals on the hellion don't like my chance to stun even though it's 55% so you know it's fine it's fine everything's fine it's all fine uh, we're maxed out for um no didn't mean to pass misclicked so bad Oh, it's regrettable. All right, let's just keep wailing down that piranha. That bleed did take this time. Let's, again, get that damage going, and he's dead in his next action, which is fine by me. Not going to have to worry about any more of his nonsense. No sorry, Bob. Success so clearly in view. Jute tapestry. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Yep, going to give up that key. No more room for any more jades in that stack. Not going to give up shovels. Not going to give up medicinal herbs. Uh, we're going to make a decent haul of gold, though. This episode got that got that going for us at least. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. And you're craving. That's fine. We'll wait till you're wasting. Because actually, are you on? No, you aren't even on half life yet. That's regrettable. That's fine. That's fine. Let's carry on. Carry, carry, don't carry. Up. Oh, almost forgot to rejigger our positions. That's better. Keep in Radiant if we can for the Sun Rings and uh, Camouflage Cloaks. Sack is empty. This guy's freaking out a bit because he's craven. Bloodletter, Cutthroat, and Fusilier. No surprise for us this time around, so we will start wailing on that Cutthroat, I think. First attack with the Flagellant does aid that nicely. Six damage taken. The Bleed and the Debuff is in place. This guy is a, uh, a very healthy candidate for an early kill, I hope seven damage and that bleed takes once again what do we have here We've got 11 damage not quite enough to get a kill on him so we're gonna need to focus that down if we can deny them a turn great so at least one of them is out of action blanket fire goes down and everyone dodges because everyone is awesome um, and everything indeed is awesome if you're a fond of the Lego movie you would know that um, chance to stun uh, is appealing let's give it a shot Worst comes to worst, we get some free torch out of it. Yes, it takes. Fantastic. All right. Point blank shot. Great dodge. Great dodge there, guys. Great dodge. This flagellant's not going to get his, his his way, unfortunately, with um with using his exsanguinate, it looks like. But we'll still be able to wheel down, wail down on that fusilier and take them out. Beautiful critical as well. Let's take care of some stress there. Happily, happily done. And um, with no better options, it's time to start slapping around that bloodletter. Rain of Whips goes down, and um, well, those bleeds are going to be a real problem for me. But what I can do, I think, don't drop a party heal. That's that's a problem. We'll drop a judgment, just to get a bit of life back on the Vestal and top her up, ready to take some more bleeds. The Flagellant is going to be able to pull out one of his A moves. 
again. It's just nine points of bleed. It's insane. Ten damage taken. Critical heal. Oh my god. And this guy doesn't even take the bleed. Like, I don't even know what the hell the point of that was, because if bleeds don't work, we have a problem. Anyway, only five damage rather than the full nine, but we'll take it regardless. Let's cure that heal on the Hellion while we have the chance. It's one less person for us to worry about, and that's just fine by me. We're in a pretty good place to keep on dropping some judgment on that blood letter with the Vestal to correct for that bleed damage. We'll probably drop a party heal or a focus on the Jester soon. Punishment, six damage, and um, whoa, lots of bleeds. So lots of leads, so he is going to be the guy that we focus our heals on for a while. Um, uh, that blood letter isn't quite rocking enough damage to make killing him worthwhile. This could kill him. This could kill him. I need I need the time to faff, so let's just faff. Let's just faff. I want to faff as much as I can to get as much of that bleed expired um, on the on the jester uh, to take care of some stress. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so nasty. Alright, focused heal, up by 10. It's correcting some of that damage. Still have a few turns for it to come in and cause me misery though. Point blank shot, 12 damage, and the Jester, the, the Hellion is shuffled. It's okay, it's only back by one. Um, and again, that works out for us just fine. We can faff the night away. This guy is dead in his next action. Uh, and he should be slow. So let's, um, let's just heal up. Let's just bide our time. And, unfortunately, we won't get that free heal in with the Jester. Ah, uh, how much gold? Alright, for that much gold, you can compel me. You can compel me. You can compel me. Those busts I can live without. Um, yeah, let's uh, reshuffle and carry on. I am going to do a camp in the next room. Again, just with the minimal. Uh regardless of what I have in terms of life. This could be a battle. It is a battle. Okay, which two champions and a piranha? That isn't too bad as a starting point. That isn't too bad. What I'm going to do probably is open up with a party buff. Just try and get some early damages done on these guys. Unfortunately, that witch is not going to be easy for me to take down. But at least we're dodging her shots. Oh, I know. You're kind of freaked out. It's fine, man. It's fine. Uh, champion, 10 damage plus a decent spread of bleeds. Nope. Nope, he's going to resist everything. Champion dungeons, guys. It's it's Things don't work out on champion dungeons. All right, it's a dodge. I wouldn't have minded if it hit it, to be entirely honest. That would have been kind of okay. Let's keep wailing on this champion, because I just want to focus my damage and take them out one turn at a time. Okay, another dodge there. That's okay. Uh, focused heal on the Jester. Oh, 24 crit. Beautiful. All right, and maybe I don't need to camp. Um, Wicked Hack. One of them is removed from the game. That's one less turn to do me damage. I will, however, try and drop Slice off on this Piranha. Six damage, and yep, the bleed has taken. Oh, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing? You craving bastard. All right, that's fine. We'll find a way to survive that, I guess. Stressful incantation goes down, two damage, and probably 20 stress. 24 stress, my goodness. Uh, definitely time to heal up that Hellion, up by 22. That's not too shabby at all. Rent for the Old Gods goes down for four damage, and you should be below 50%, or at least on it. Yes, that's fine by me. All right, spearfishing on the back. Eight damage taken, but nothing to worry about beyond that shuffle. We should be fine. Uh, let's take care of some stress on that Vestal, because that last strike from the Witch was nasty. This Piranha is already dead. Um, and I'm going to drop an Exsanguinate, I think. Yes, I am. Seven damage taken. The bleed goes into effect. That's beautiful. That is just such a beautiful attack. Let's keep dropping some pain on this guy. That's a heal for us. And, uh, you know, I'm going to disregard that bleed in favor of closing the kill. Done. All right, so he's dead. Champion's dead. Piranha's dead. Just the witch to worry about. And she's pulling some freaky-deaky moves on us. But she's within arm's reach, at least for most of my guys. The Flagellant will need to use his turn to move. But in the meantime, let's get some bleeds going on this unpleasant lady. Might be able to get a kill on her quite quickly. Eldritch Pool goes down. One damage. And uh, that move won't really be a huge obstacle for me, to be honest. Yeah. 
We're good. We're fine. And we're fed as well. Victory, but a victory nonetheless. Um, what to do? I'm not going to drop shovels. We'll be camping in a second, though. In fact, we could just camp right now. That wouldn't be a horrible thing, and then we could grab some more deeds. Um, all right, let's do that. Brywood's up. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Use the least amount of food that we can. And we'll pick up those deeds, I think. Yep, close that off. Uh, can we avoid... Can we avoid a ambush with anyone? We cannot. That could be a problem. Oh, no, we can. Good, good, good. Okay. Let us... Do you have any good heals? We do not. Are you diseased? No, just cursed. Okay. Let's take care of all of your stress. Let's take care of most of your stress. That's fine. No. No. Yeah, let's let's improve. Let's improve the Jester's accuracy in dodge, because he's been taking some pretty nasty hits, and I need him to avoid those if we can. Cure a disease, because, you know, that's irrelevant. There we go. No ambushes. The, light, the promise of safety. We're back in the right party order. We're expecting to get more than the one obstacle check, so we will open up this. All right, we've picked up a few more deeds. That's going to have to do for us. Um, good deed haul. Now it's going to be crested on my main concern. Uh, that bleed is going to be coming through regardless. Trap for three damage, and it's going to be a gnarly debuff as well, which is a huge problem. By evil intent. Yep, sure is. Not what we might actually just do as well is uh, oh, I guess leave that gold behind. Give this guy a bit of blood. Nice. Um, not quite at half life, but if he gets if they get an early strike on him, it will be. Let's keep torched up and see what is behind this doorway. Could be the last battle room. It could not. It's a Nuka Savage. I hate Nuka Savages. They are the worst. Okay, Stress Wave goes down. That's fine. I hate Nuka Savages, especially when they are so bloody, bloody bleed resistant. Okay, let's... What should we do? We need to get our crits up. So, Jester, do your bit. Do your bit. Bit. Okay, stress wave. That's going to be a problem, but we'll live. Alright, let's try and debuff this guy's... Yeah, his debuff resist isn't as bad as his bleed resist. Let's do that. Four damage taken. And his debuff is reduced to 72%. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's drop a judgment on... This is ridiculous. Let's try for a stun. Why not? Let's try for a stun. 95% chance to resist. Yeah, it resists. Okay, that's that's as expected. Let's just hit him the old-fashioned way. His prot is just way too high. We're going to really suffer for this. Material pinch goes down to 3 damage, and we have taken a bleed of 10 damage per freaking turn. 10 damage per freaking turn. Alright, let's let's try and avenge ourselves with, yeah, 5 bleed. That's, that's fine. Let's keep going with those bleeds as well. Alright, that's at least getting around his protection. Um, yeah, focused heals on the Jester, please. Immediately. Yes, and thank you. Kindly, and thank you. Um, again, his bleed resist is now weak enough that this is like the sole focus of everything we're doing on him. 15 damage per turn. He'll be dead in... 4 turns? 5 turns? 6 turns, maybe? Oh, this is gonna hurt. At least we're dodging some stress wave attacks, so pretty minor. Tidal Slam. Great dodge. I'm grateful for it. I thank you kindly. Um, we're going to have to keep focusing heals on that Jester for a while, but at least we can start building up bleeds. 20 bleed per turn. Okay, you can move if you want to. Um, 5 damage and... Oh my god, 26 bleed per turn. Stress wave goes down. We're just going to have to take those hits. Can't really do anything about them. What we have to do is just keep our Jester alive for as long as we can. One more round of 10 damage. That's acceptable. If it bleeds, once again, 
four damage and 30 bleed. Jesus. 30 bleed. Do I have another action? I do. Uh, there is no way I can take eight damage off of you. No, let's just focus a heal. Crit for 22. Nicely done. And this Jester will survive for another day. That Crusher is going to be dead next turn. So focusing down on him was very prudent, even with that Hellion out of action. Even with that Hellion out of action, we've done the right thing, I think. Bit of stress spread around, but now that the Jester is back in the land of living, we might be able to do something about that. Maybe not. Let's try getting some bleeds on these Tide Masters. Nothing taking, but that's fine. Oh, look at the stress. Again, this is what Champion Dungeons are for. Champion Dungeons are for giving you a good time. And in this case, a good time means a very, very painful time. <laughs> Nine damage and a bleed does take in this round at least. Let's look at a... Uh, uh, let's look at a focused heal on the Hellion. Yes, ma'am, I don't mind if I do. Um, oh, all right. Giant Crab is finally dead. I hate Giant Crabs. Have I mentioned that I hate Giant Crabs? I loathe them with every fiber of my being. Sea Breeze goes down. Alright, you can heal each other. That's that's okay. Um, I will move one forward. I will move the Jester one back because I'm going to be faffing for stress relief as rapidly as I'm able. Good spread of damage on that Tide Master and he is dead in his next action, which is just fine by me. Let's drop a focused heal on the Jester. Crit for 24, which helps the stress situation as well. But my, um, my poor Hellion is looking quite freaked and peaked. Yep, ceremonial cut. That's fine. Great dodge. We're going to keep this going for as long as we can because we need these guys to not do any meaningful damage. That's that's kind of the plan. Let's uh, go transfer some stress. Um, drop a self-heal. Don't mind if I do. Um, odds of a kill are very, very remote. It's fine. Let's get that damage in and get a heal for ourselves. Um, all right, ceremonial cut yet again. Great dodge. I have a feeling we're going to be spending a few rounds faffing around. <laughs> to be honest. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're all all on very high bars for how this game plays out in my mind, at least. 45 and 45, let's take care of that best lieutenant. Typically is the target for a lot of stress healing and uh, yeah, keep faffing around. Great, yep, that's fine. You can, you can do that. It's, it's fine by me. Uh, look, you know what? Given given circumstances, given the fact that they can only do like a very, very weak jab on me, don't want to reinforce. Uh, I think this is going to be my last round of faffing. Um, yep, ceremonial cut, and I think we'll finish him off now. That is just fine. Don't want to. Don't want them to reinforce. I can't remember what turn they reinforce in, so I'm not going to take any chances if I can avoid it. This at least success. Scouting, secret room. Okay, we have to start making some choices here. Need a key for the secret room. Got one person with the curse. I can probably drop that blood. I know we don't have any more obstacles either, so I can pick up that gold not going to need much in the way of shovels spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear so we'll pick up those deeds and let's let's gamble on the chance they're not being a food check and retain that blood with the intent to throw it away as and when the opportunity presents itself i can't believe i found a secret room when i'm so stacked with treasure all right let's see what we have here so a quick shuffle back to first positions. What is this battle? Okay, Thrall, Maggot, and Ghoul. This is pretty manageable. This is pretty manageable. Might start things off with a bleed, but the chances aren't amazing. Let us instead work on faffing the stress away. 48. Yep, don't mind if I do. Do not mind if I do. Do not mind if I do. Um, let's get some bleeds going, hopefully, on this Thrall. 13 damage is pretty darn strong, but no bleeds, unfortunately. So there are more than one way to there's more than one way to kill a thrall. No chance of explosions now. It's just fine by me. Alright, bit of damage, but nothing, you know, to cry about in inordinately. Your chance to stun is really, really poor, so we'll just heal up and pace through the rounds and consider the horror attacks that this ghoul can drop. 
that's okay. Brian goes on the Jester, and there's a debuff there. Three rounds, but nothing to really cry about too much. A bit of stress spreading because this guy is just loco. Um, let's try and get some damage done on this maggot. The bleed does take. Nope, it's fine, but at least the, resi oh, the resistance. <laughs> oh well. I can't even commentate. I'm just quite... Like, I'm actually having a lot of fun. I find that when I'm having a lot of fun with the game, when I feel like I'm a threat, when I feel like I'm at risk, I can't really describe what's happening very effectively. <laughs> Let's keep focusing on that maggot for the moment. Um, again, uh, Hal goes down. Everyone dodges with the Vestal, who's going to be freaking out about things for a while, I'm guessing. Let's, um... Let's heal... Oh, let's, yeah, let's heal up that Jester. Let's heal up that Jester. That's fine by me. Brian on the Flagellant, who dodges. Oh... What are we going to do? Let's try... Okay, that's, that's the kill we were looking for. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um... Right, let's start wailing on this guy. Six damage taken. This prot is very high, though. Uh, let's keep working down the stress on the Hellion. Keep her looking happier if we can. Skull toss. Crit for 24. Dear God. And a stun to boot. Wow, that's um, that's going to take out my stress reduction abilities for a while. Um, yeah, heal up, please. Thank you kindly. Alright, let's try and get some damage on this guy. Crit for 11, not too shabby. No bleeds though, because they're just too tough and no debuffs to boot. Skull toss. Oh my god! Leave him alone! At least he's stunned. That's saying something. Let's keep wailing on this guy, but my god, I'm getting worried about... I'm getting worried about my guys. Alright, heal for 11. Pretty minor in the grand scheme, but we'll take it regardless. Let's keep punishing this guy. 7 damage and... At least the bleed and the debuff takes this time. That's something. Let's... Oh, dodge! Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright, 51. Uh, Alright, de-stress myself. Nice. And let's keep healing him as well. He's so low on health. Alright. How goes down. Everyone's going to take horror. No! Everyone dodges! That is so lucky. I am so grateful. You are the best. Let's keep going with these bleeds, though. 8 damage taken, he has 11 hit points, and 12 bleeds coming through the next turn. We have got this. Our stress is better than it was before we entered, but not by a great deal, to be honest. And that is the round. My god! Alright, I'm gonna give up crests for that blood. I'm gonna have to make some hard calls as well when, um, when the time comes. These four deeds aren't amazing. Oh, so much money! I've never had such a good inventory. Um, I'm gonna have one slot free when, um... Where's that secret room? Come on. Where are you? There we go. We have one key to unlock this. What do we find? Yep, these are pretty easy decisions. Now, quick mental arithmetic. That's gonna be, uh... Actually, I'm not gonna do quick mental arithmetic. I am sleepy. I am tired, and I'm just going to do the math on a calculator because it's right here at my fingertips. Right, that's 1,850. It is worth more than a stack of gold. That is certainly worth more than a stack of gold. All right, let's do some swaparoos. I'm going to get rid of these four deeds as well, even though I can use them. Uh, let's just do gold for gold. And uh, gold for deeds. Done, 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 done. Done, 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 done. Great dungeon. Look at these glittering prizes. Let's get the hell out of here. There is literally... I'm, li I literally just threw away like... 3,500 gold. Because I had better options. God damn, look at that money. 35k. And a book of sanity. 22 deeds. Uh, 33 um, crests. That's... I think that's my upgrade for the um, Blacksmith Paid For and a Book of Sanity as well, which is very, very handy. Looks like some pe Everyone pops level 6. Everyone goes to 6. Fergant comes out with the yips and is a stress eater, which is just fine. Would have rather kept Beast Slayer, but it is what it is. Mercurial is picked up on Buron, who now also has the curse, which will be problematic. Covid Venture also drops. Desurs is an unholy hater and now has Vertigo. And, oh my god, look at all of this. Brimu is... Stress in Cove, Backtracker, and Vampiric Spirits. Damn! That is a lot to happen in a short amount of time.
Can you feel it? Yes. The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. <laughs> you better believe it, buddy. You better believe it. All right, let's let's get this weapon upgrade. We can afford it now. Fan the flames, mold the metal. We are raising an army. Now, before we start dropping any cash on it, if we can, I'm not going to buy any more. I'm going to avoid buying any more upgrades if I can until next week, because I hope I'm going to have the deeds and the crests to afford the furnace upgrade, just to lower the cost overall. I've got a pretty good bank in place, but I've got a lot of problems I need to deal with. Um, I've got a lot of guild upgrades that haven't been bought, but just note that the guild is fully upgraded now, so it's the lowest possible cost that I can have. Um, sanitarium, I mean, I'm pretty far away in terms of crests, but relatively close in terms of busts. Um, uh, not too far away from increasing the number of patient cells I have. What I have to do, though, is make sure that I'm Oh my god, let's take care of the yips. Let's just take care of the yips. Even, I, I no, don't normally do this kind of stuff on camera, but let's just take care of the yips. That's just awful. Bellicott, Deviant Taste, Unquiet Mind, I can live with those. Who else is a six? Desurs. Yeah, need to get rid of either a Scurvy or a Vertigo or both. Certainly to have a Bleed Resistant, I'm going to be facing any more giant bloody crabs. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Vampiric Spirits, I can also afford to get rid of, so I may as well. Um, done. Sirs, uh, let's focus on the scurvy first of all. Yup. Who else is a level 6 that can be cured of something? Let's find someone else that has something that's just awful. Uh, wield phobe is going to be quite annoying. Tipler is fine. Yeah, everything else is just really expensive. I can get rid of runes phobe. That isn't a bad call, to be honest. Oh my god, but light sensitive. Let's let's take care of that. Light sensitive is awful. Plus twenty stress if torches. Okay, you know, let's get rid of light sensitive. That's awful. Bosk, you you will have to wait for your your upgrade because I do not like you being light sensitive. And for everything else in the guild hall, I'll I'll do that off camera. In the meantime, I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing for my next map. The bloodsuckers are coming through. The curse is returned. Um wow. Flagellant's Hood, that could actually be really useful even though it's only an uncommon. I've got so many options though, I need to unlock the next boss in the cove, I need to unlock the next boss in the wield as well. There are so many choices that we can make. A gentle tide is awfully attractive, but I think I'm going to be going back to a veteran mission for the moment. My gosh, this has been a lot of fun. This has been a lot of fun, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying the videos. In the meantime, I'm going to sign off. If you've liked this video, hit that like button for me just to show me that you care. Any comments you feel like leaving, feel free to leave them there. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And if you're coming in late, feel free to check out the playlist as well to start from the beginning and figure out how we got here. My name is Azum. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'll catch you guys next time.